wife actually was a realtor, and um, I got a chance to see firsthand how she did uh, her job, how she interacted with um, her clients, um, the joy she got from from helping people uh, with what is probably the the biggest decision they'll ever make. I started with another company uh, locally, um, but I had a chance to get to know one of the office managers uh, at Cobalt Banker and liked what he had to say, liked what um, the company had going for them and uh, thought it would be a good decision for me to move over to this company. And uh, that was about eight years ago or so and I've been with them ever since. Situation where one of the brokers really came through for me and, and made me feel like, um, you know, at any time, no matter what the problem was, I could go to them uh, and they'll have my back. They'll, there was a local builder who um, had an, an internal issue with one of their employees, um, more or less feeding uh, leads to other realtors here in town and, and more or less um, putting them on, on contracts without them technically being the buyer's agents. I had closed escrow on a, a home with this builder and they withheld my commission check uh, until I uh, agreed to come in and, and basically uh, give a testimony about um, how I knew this employee, what my relationship was, etc. And um, it didn't go over with me too well. So I had called John Maxey, one of the brokers, and explained to it. Uh, explain the situation to him and um, within about half an hour we were sitting in that uh, builder's office, the vice president's office uh, and within about 10 minutes the matter was resolved. I got paid and um, it was a done deal. So I thought that was pretty cool that I could pick up the phone and call one of my brokers directly uh, and he could drop what he was doing and come to my assistance. the one thing that does it for me is the the strength of the company the stability of the company I mean these guys have been in business for a long time they've got a great business model um, they run their business very professionally very efficiently um, I've noticed a lot of the other brokers in town you know they'll they'll merge and they're selling you know their companies and they're changing brokers and and office managers and sales managers consistently um, and it's one thing I haven't seen with Coldwell Banker. And that's pretty important to me as a, as a professional. I don't have to worry about the company closing its doors. Um, you'll never hear anything, at least I never hear anything negative um, from other realtors uh, in terms of Coldwell Banker, the brokers, the managers. Um, so again, for me, I think it's just the stability of the company, uh, the name recognition of the company, uh, and the fact that we, at Coldwell Banker, you know, we're the, we're the biggest, we're the best. My only advice would be to don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, matter of fact, I just um, entered a deal with a, a brand new Coldwell Banker agent. She's just been here since December, about two months. It's her first deal. It's an REO property listing of mine. Um, and she was very forthcoming and came to me and said, you know what, Larry, honestly, this is my first deal. Um, and, you know, you could tell she was a little bit timid, a little bit afraid. And just the fact that she was honest um, and asked for assistance um, it was really important to me. And so I pretty much gave her some comfort and said, I'll walk you through the entire thing. Don't be afraid. Uh, if I can't help you, we've got, you know, your sales managers and, and other agents around that can hopefully help you. But um, one of our company models is ask for the business, um, which is probably the number one uh, motto in my opinion, uh, because it works. Uh, and not only asking for uh, the business, but asking for assistance. <laughs>